This is a Photoshop Elements 10 video about using the quick selection and selection brush tools to remove an image background. This is an image uh, downloaded from the web and we're going to start out using the quick selection tool and one thing we want to notice here is the size of the brush. We have options. We're going to set this diameter for uh, 38 pixels, low in the hardness, and with uh, angle of sand and spacing. And I'm going to start just going down here and selecting things. Just moving this on, holding the uh, left mouse button down. You can see how the selected area just sort of grows as we do this. Not worry too much about going over. areas in here that aren't selected, some lights and things like that, license plate. And, uh, yeah, remember the tires, just sort of moving this over, holding it down. Okay, now I'm releasing the left mouse button. And it's done a pretty good job of selecting most of the car it went over a little bit down in here. So uh, one of the things we need to notice about using this quick selection tool is the mode that it's in. Right now it's in the mode of adding to the selection. We're going to change this to subtracting from the selection and go down here and fix this up a little bit. And over up here. That looks uh, pretty good. As good as we get now. Uh, one of the things you'll notice is that it did a pretty good job of uh, picking out the uh, top parts of the car. It was a good contrast, but down on the bottom here, where it's dark, it didn't come out so good. So we're going to work on this area using a couple of other tools. I'm going to zoom in uh, using the Control Plus here, and I'm going to hold down the space bar and move around in here. And one area you know, we want to deal with is right down in here. Now this is an area that uh, it's dark, and we're going to add to the image in this case by going to the polygonal lasso tool, and we're going to make sure that this is in the uh, add to selection mode. And here we're going to click here. Along there like this. This way we're going to get a good sharp line down here. Holding down this space bar. Space bar again. Now since we're adding Back to the beginning here. And as we get closer, see so a little circle shows up. Put that on there, and now we've added to that selection. So uh, go through here. And uh, now we're going to uh, use that same tool to subtract from the selection. So it's a little different. You would have a front edge of the tire. And when we're subtracting, we go anywhere outside here. And that takes that away. And uh, I'm going to use that same tool to get a straight edge in here where we really can't quite see. So here we're going to be adding to this selection. And we go from right over here, across like that. And that straightens that up. 
kind of zoom out a little bit here. And we're going to work a little bit with uh, another tool. And this will be the selection brush tool. And this will help us to uh, clean things up a little bit, the rest of the image. This gives us a red background, makes it easier to see what we've got selected right and, and what's not. I'm just going to stay out here at the top of the car and, and work our way down, zooming in a little bit. Now here again, it's very important to uh, uh, see whether you're adding or subtracting. So this is our selection, it is the car, and we're going to take away from that a little bit. So we're going to select here and uh, subtracting from it. And we're going to go up here and see that we're missing some of this. Holding down the space bar. Right here, a little bit here. And here we want to add to it. So we're going to click Add to Selection and just run through here. And the red is outside the selection area. This the mirror right here. Space bar, Got a little bit down here. A little bit in here. Now we're in mode of adding to the selection. So I'm going to work on this tire a little bit. here. And of course, if the background weren't so close down here, it would be a lot easier to do this. I uh, picked it up very easily with the uh, selection tool. Okay. And down here, now we're in the mode of adding to the selection. Zoom in a little. to the selection a little. And uh, hit control zero. And uh, it looks pretty good. Now, some of these areas are kind of guesswork down around the tire line. And so, uh, with that,
All right, now that uh, the selection is complete, I'm just going to uh, go over the selection, uh, right click, layer via cut, and I'm uh, going to turn off uh, the background layer. It shows uh, what we've uh, cut out. Now just to do something with this, I'm going to um, bring in a parking lot and it's a different resolution but I'm going to uh, bring that in and put it behind the car and take that car and Make it a little more realistic in size. And I think turn it just a little bit. I'm going to take the car and uh, edit the layer style a little bit. I'm going to put in a drop shadow. Put my lighting angle overhead. A little shadow there. Okay. Shadow. You can see actually it's going in the parking lot. I'm going to trim this down a little bit. That's using the uh, quick select and uh, select brush tools to remove background image. Further information, uh, go to drinfrastructure.com.